Hello everyone and welcome back to Classic Comics. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Batman number 82 here. And uh, it's got this unusual cover. DC's doing a lot of this. Right now they got this, I don't know, what is this, Mylar? Kind of a Mylar overlay on the actual cover. With a part of an illustration and then of course it folds out and then... The figure you saw earlier is part of the underneath illustration with Flashpoint Batman here. I mean, it's kind of nice. It's nifty. So, what well, we got a uh, Tom King writing still, and Michael Janin. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Michael Janin on art. So Janin's art is solid. But once again, you just get this dull plotting style of storytelling. Uh, you know, decompressed storytelling. This is this is all written for the trade. You know, they don't really try to make the storytelling in a single comic even that appealing anymore. I really don't get what Tom King is trying to accomplish with Batman. Other than, you know, he just, he can't really accomplish much of anything on his own anymore. So we have Batman and Bane facing off. And Bruce sort of challenges him to, you know, mano a mano with no help, no gadgets, nothing like that. So he takes off his utility belt, you know, sheds the costume. Bane pulls out the Venom tubes, you know, that feed him. That I jack him up and uh, accepts the challenge. And then during the story, we keep uh, cutting back to Flashpoint Batman. Uh, he has wrecked the rest of the Batman family Robin and Batgirl and Batwoman and whatnot. And he wants to find Bruce. And then they get down to it. But again, the way it's just drawn, it's not very thrilling at all. It's just very kind of dull angles. And then and, on, and then Batman cheats. <laughs> he just outright cheats. Catwoman jumps in to help him, even though they had kind of agreed not to. So, yeah, apparently Batman just can't handle Bane on his own, which, why not? He's done it before, so why can't he now? So we learned that that was the plan all along. Bruce just said these things in order to trick him into shedding his, you know, his venom uh, tube so he can't uh, boost himself. And then Bruce goes down. And, uh, but fortunately, thank God, Catwoman is there to bail him out. <laughs> and she goes after Bane and... You know, he's no match for her, apparently, because of her whammon powers. And she just she just freaking goes to town on him here. And then she tells him, oh yeah, Gotham doesn't belong to Bruce or to you. It belongs to me. <laughs> yes, queen! Whatever. Finally, Bane manages to fend her off. But then Bruce takes him down because, of course, Selina softened him up <laughs> for him. And then he's about to do a backbreaking thing like Bane did to him once. But then, well, I won't, I won't give it away. I don't want to show everything. But basically, Flashpoint Batman shows up, shoots Bruce in the chest, <laughs> then shoots Bane in the head, apparently killing them both, or at least Bane, definitely. And then he says, it's time to fetch the pirates, which, psycho pirate, is that what he means? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. It's just the whole, the storytelling in this comic, you know, the way that the angles and the way the action is depicted, it just, the problem with artists in comics these days is, unlike comic artists of the past, these artists who are drawing comics now They've grown up with superhero TV shows and superhero movies as a regular thing. So when they're drawing comics, they don't see comics in their head. You know, they don't see the comics they read as a kid in their head, probably because they didn't read any. 
or at least not many. They see the movies and the TV shows that they've seen. And that's how they draw these comics these days. They're drawn like storyboards for a TV show. And it's a shame because they don't take advantage of the medium, you know, to really do, to exploit it fully and really do what they could do with it. They just want to, you know, like I say, just storyboard out a, a, a movie. And this thing, this whole story has felt like, almost like it's a showcase for Catwoman. And, and this is all of, what, 20 pages? 20 pages of story in this. And Tom King's run on Batman just can't end quick enough. Of course, I wonder after that what character he'll move on to and wreck after that. Uh, anyway... Uh, so what do you think? Have you read this issue? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, please like this video. And please subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell for notifications for more videos. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.